Hey everyone, what is going on? So it's finally starting to get warm out. Nine degrees. And uh, oh, there's also lots of renovations going on. As you can see, um, so I actually have to do some work on my truck today. And it's kind of important that I do it. And it's finally warm, which means I can do it without freezing. So, I'm going to do that. Let's get to it. So, I'm sure you already know what I'm changing on the truck, fixing, because of the title of this video. But you don't know why, so let me show you why. This is why. See that? That used to be connected to the bottom of, well, to the floor of the truck. That's the bottom part, it goes like this and it has broken, it has rusted right off because of, well, all the salt and the horrible winters we have here in Southern Ontario. I cleared all this stuff out and I can show you the extent of the damage. Here's the bottom of the seat belt. This ring thing, see that? Used to be attached right here. And the rust has broken, well, completely destroyed that. This is where like the passenger's feet go that sit here, so like any salty feet, they'll sit basically right on this. It's a terrible location for it. It's eaten away. Passenger side is still uh, still okay, but I thought this one was okay, and just one day I went to put it on and it broke right off. So I'm gonna replace them both. And also, in case you didn't know this, um, I know a lot of people don't really drive old cars anymore. This is one of the joys of driving an old car, but Seatbelts are, I'm pretty sure it's like a 15 year use. So if your vehicle's older than 15 years, you're technically supposed to replace them. This is the first time I've actually ever replaced a seatbelt due to safety issues. I've replaced them because of, uh, I don't know, being annoying. But this is the first time I actually felt like I had to replace them with brand new ones, which I did. And they're not cheap. They're like $250 a seatbelt. But when you're driving around people that you care about, it's worth it to buy good parts, I guess. All right, let's get fixing this. What I'm gonna have to do is uh, t take this panel out here and uh, there's a bolt here, bolt here, and there'll be one inside here. I'll show you the new parts. So this is the only piece that is broken in my truck, but because you can't just replace the belt, you have to get the entire thing. And they also apparently have an explosive device in them. I don't actually believe it. But I tried to order them online from a cheaper Toyota parts supplier. And uh, shipping was going to be like 150 bucks for two of these. So it was cheaper to get them from the dealer. Which is unbelievable. Anyways, you can see. Bolt here. Bolt here. Bolt here. Should be easy. Let's get to it. That could be a problem. Is there even a bolt there anymore? Okay, the good news is that is actually a bolt. It's not a uh, nut. If it was a nut, I'd be screwed. I checked under the car and uh, it looks 
like that connection is pretty good. And I checked on the passenger side, that's how I knew it's a bolt. But I'm gonna need some uh, interesting bolt extractor on that, that's for sure. Because there is no form of a hex shape at all. Should be able to get it out though. I got some, I got some things that'll probably work on it. Okay, so one problem. Here's the bolt from the floor. I had to shove a 11 mil socket onto it, hammer it on. So it was effectively destroyed it, but it was destroyed in the first place. It's supposed to be 14. So I'm pretty sure, here's the old belt. Here's the new belt. So these are the same grade as the ones on the floor. So this is from behind the wall and it We'll replace that one. So thank God they're the same or else I would have had to order another one. All right, let's put it back in, take out the passenger side, put that one back in. Okay. One side down, and my belt hasn't felt that good. Actually, it was also always hanging out of the door because it was like a crappy spring. It's gonna be so much nicer anyways. So one side down, now do the other side. I think we should do this as a time lapse. Two new seat belts, and uh, yeah, it didn't take long at all. My coffee's still warm. I told you how quick that was. Well, so uh, two seat belts, and only cost me like 500 bucks. Wow, so expensive. And I know I could have gone to a junkyard, but uh, my thing is. Any ones I find in the junkyard are probably going to be equally as bad. And I don't know, I just don't like messing around with like actual safety stuff. I mean, there's a lot of sketchy things on this truck, but when it comes to safety, especially like for other passengers, I don't know, I just got to go with Toyota so I can blame them when they fail. Uh, yeah, and to, uh, you know, I said the 15 year date on the seatbelts. This truck is a 96. And let me see here. The date code on these is a this is 2016. So these obviously probably weren't made in 2016. But uh, they were test or checked, and then they stitched that on. So it's only uh, March. So yeah, like. They do that before they ship out, and that's so you know that these were installed in 2016. And uh, 15 years from now, if this truck's still on the road, I don't see why not. I'm only 5,000 kilometers away from 400,000 kilometers on this. So, yeah, in uh, 30, 20 year old car, it's 2016, 1996, 20 year old car brand new seat belts and you can still get them from the factory obviously anyway that wasn't difficult pretty good job and uh, a little pro tip the key to working on old vehicles is to end up with less things broken than when you started
That's all you have to do. Keep it going. You know it sounds tough. You can do it. Anyways, that's uh, it for today. And yeah, everyone, be good. And have a good day. Mystic Mondra.